we had the patriarch of the 99-year-old person and, and, and succession came about through death. Uh, and we had a second generation in our family that was very, very private uh, and, and, and very introspective. So the, the idea of part, and that we had no outside family members really in the business. And we had executives because it was a multi-dimensional business. But the decision making was all internal, very, very private. And it was my father and occasionally he'd bring my uncle in. Um, and the idea of bringing th third generation, my generation in, was just when they died, maybe we would be allowed in. Um, <laughs> and uh, so what, what, what happened? You know, our generation started meeting and realizing that whenever transition does occur, we're going to have to work with one another. And we took a, a different perspective. We started working with each other very early and, and, and almost in a void, a, a fictional way of, of, of dealing with things. We were working as what would we be doing? How would we work together? What type of structure would we like to do? Um, and while it didn't necessarily have the physical reality uh, to it, it provided a good working platform. We brought a facilitator in ourselves uh, and we started figuring out how to work with one another and, and the process. And I think the, the, the first thing that I thought was, was extremely important for us, I, and I was the youngest of the generation, uh, and I ended up going into the family business when others didn't, so that was an awkward, awkward situation, being the youngest and being the one who was there. Um, um, there were two things that happened. Number one is the premise was that the, every single person there at that time, there were 10 of us, uh, had the right to be there for one reason, and that's because of birthright, period. Not education, not intelligence, not anything. It was birthright, and that was an automatic right to be a family member. And that means that nobody has any more say than another. There's an equality there and what we tried very much to do in our generation was to establish that equality under a governance structure or a legal structure that divided people into thirds because there were three branches of the second generation. And the complexity was how do you get a group of ten people, now eight, to think as a group of eight people, ten people, and not in two thirds when the legal documents and government structure are in fact that way. And, and that's the process you go through.